Judge Kavanaugh is an outstanding person, and I am with him all the way. Donald Trump once again defending his U.S. Supreme Court nominee, Brett Kavanaugh, after a second woman came forward with a sexual misconduct allegation against Kavanaugh. There's a chance that this could be one of the single most unfair, unjust things to happen to a candidate for anything. It is totally political. The U.S. president's remarks coming as he arrived in New York for the United Nations General Assembly, just hours after the New Yorker published an article featuring Deborah Ramirez, who says Kavanaugh exposed himself to her during a booze-fueled party in the early 1980s when they were both students at Yale University. She felt it was important that she tell her story before others did without her consent. One of the reporters behind that piece appearing on Good Morning America today, journalist Ronan Farrow pushing back against claims that those who knew Kavanaugh in college dispute the article. We talked to a roommate from the, the time uh, that was living with him when this alleged incident took place who said he was indeed frequently drunk, uh, that he took part in activity that made him unsurprised by this claim, and that he found this woman credible. He's one of several people in this story who back Ms. Ramirez. By your own admission, no eyewitnesses to the incident. Absolutely, and we disclosed that up front, and we also disclosed that she was inebriated at the time. In a statement to The New Yorker, Kavanaugh says in part, this alleged event from 35 years ago did not happen. The people who knew me then know that this did not happen and have said so. This is a smear, plain and simple. The New Yorker piece follows a report last week in the Washington Post that saw California professor Christine Blasey Ford accuse Kavanaugh of sexually assaulting her when they were both high school students while he was drunk at a party. Kavanaugh has called the claim completely false, but the allegation has delayed his Supreme Court confirmation process. Both Kavanaugh and Ford are expected to testify before a Senate panel on Thursday, but there are calls to delay the hearing. The Judiciary Committee's top Democrat, Senator Dianne Feinstein, tweeting, Thursday's hearing should be canceled in light of a disturbing new allegation of sexual misconduct against Brett Kavanaugh. The FBI must investigate all allegations. And protesters making their voices heard again today in Washington, demonstrating against Kavanaugh and showing their support to his accusers. And we're hearing from Kavanaugh again today, this time in a letter he sent to top senators on that Judiciary Committee. Once again, he is denying the allegation, saying he is ready to answer questions on Thursday and adding what he calls a last-minute character assassination will not succeed.